Hi, my name's Zach, this is Harrison. Today we're talking about measuring jugular venous pressure, or JVP. So let's get right into it. We'll assume for today that you've already washed your hands and consented the patient. Begin with your patient at 45 degrees. This is especially important as you'll soon see. Ask them to look away from you, up to their left, and try to make out a pulsation in their internal jugular vein, which is located between the sternal and clavicular heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. However, the pulsation is difficult to see and may not even be visible in a healthy patient. The important thing is to differentiate it from the carotid pulse. Unlike the carotid pulse, the JVP is non-palpable and consists of two beats per cardiac cycle rather than one. If you're uncertain, you can apply gentle pressure to the abdomen to see if the JVP rises as a result of the abdominal jugular reflex. If the JVP is visible, its height is measured from the sternal angle, perpendicular to the ground, as demonstrated here. The JVP gives an indication as to the pressure in the venous system. You can think of it as the column of blood waiting to fill the right atrium from above. The higher the column, the higher the pressure. The JVP is a particularly complex and difficult topic, but learning to identify a raised JVP is a good first step. Remember, this is one of the trickier elements of the cardiovascular exam. Keep looking and comparing your findings with those more experienced than you. As with everything, it gets easier with time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, uh, why not subscribe to our channel? You can do it by uh, clicking that button there. You can see some of the other videos in our series on clinical examination, uh, just below me, just down there. And uh, why not send us some helpful feedback? Till next time.